Hello friends and welcome to day two of our 30 day yoga journey. Caroline here and I'm honored to be your guide and so grateful that you're back for our second day. Hey, remember to subscribe to this channel to get notifications about every new video that comes up. And if you click this link here, I'll send you daily emails and encouragement all throughout this challenge just to help you stay on track and stay encouraged. So yesterday's practice began seated. Today we're gonna to start standing. Remember week one is all about building a strong, solid foundation, noticing how we're arriving today and how to better enjoy the presence of God, not just in our brains, not just in our hearts, but in these beautiful, wonderful bodies. So stand up nice and tall. I'm gonna guide us through mountain pose to begin today's practice. So mountain from the outside looks deceivingly simple, right? You're just standing upright. But each one of us has our own idiosyncrasies and asymmetries and dysfunctions, right? Like some of us stand like this, some of us stand like this, some of us stand like this, right? And so our bodies <laughs> are not quite as strong and stable and good feeling as we want them to be. So mountain helps us find our center line and root down through our feet and reach up through the crown of our head. So take a peek down at your toes, lift them off the mat, and then see if you can ground down through the balls of your feet and the heels of your feet. And you'll notice as you do that, woo, your legs turn on, your kneecaps kind of lift, your thighs start to engage. So let your toes just kind of soften back down to the mat, but keep that engagement through your legs without locking your knees, right? Like you're not walking on stilts. There's a little bit of, of softness, but they're firm. They're working for you. And notice your pelvis, right? A lot of us tend to sit with our pelvis either sticking way forward or tipped way back. We want to kind of find that neutral position. So place one hand right on the front of your low belly, one hand on the back of your pelvis, and then just lift the front of your pelvis up so that these bony markers at the front of your pelvis are pointing straight forward, kind of like headlights. Now for a lot of us, when we do that, you'll notice your low belly start to engage. See now if you can lift your ribs farther away from your pelvis without sticking them way far forward. Roll your shoulders up, down, and back. Fingertips are gonna actively reach towards the floor as the crown of your head reaches up. And whoa, all of a sudden, this takes a lot of work. So see if you can embody this shape with strength and stability, but also this sense of ease and softness. And now let's jump in and do some more yoga. From mountain position, take a breath in and reach your arms overhead and breathe out, drawing them together in prayer at your heart. Continue like this for a few more rounds on your own breath, just like we began yesterday. But now we have something to compare this to. So notice how this movement feels in your body today. Notice how you're stepping onto your mat afresh today. And I use the word compare, but um, I don't mean that as like a rating system, but as just information to notice, oh, yesterday, this was my experience, but today it's new. I have new cells in my body. I have new breath in my body. The Lord's Spirit is ministering to me anew today. So what does that new experience feel like? After your next exhale, just hold your hands together in prayer at your heart. Soften your gaze or close your eyes and enjoy the sensation of your breath in your body. Maybe you'd even like to place one hand over your heart and one hand over your belly to help you really feel your breath. Maybe you don't feel it at all in one part of your body. Can you stay and soften and welcome the fullness of your breath into your body. As you do, I'm going to read to you Ephesians 3, 17 through 19. And this is the sort of the scripture that we're going to camp in this week as we talk about presence and grounding and establishing ourselves. It says this, I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, 
that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Holy Spirit, we welcome you here. Slowly open your eyes if they're closed. Breathe in and reach your arms over your head. And then as you exhale, lower your left hand down the side of your body and take a standing side bend over to the left. If you want to stay still here, you can. Maybe you want to step your right foot back to get a slightly deeper stretch. There's no wrong way to do this shape other than if it causes pain, that's the wrong way. Good. All right. Come back up to the center. Keep your right arm lifted, though. Start to stretch your arm behind you and turn your arm around so that your palm faces the wall behind you. And then just rest the back of your right hand on your back and bring your left hand to the front of your belly. And see if you're able in your right shoulder to just kind of slide your right hand up a little bit higher so that when you breathe, you can feel your breath not just in your front hand, but also in your back hand. Now, if this causes any pain or discomfort, just lower your arms and feel your breath. But what we're trying to do with our hands here is just give ourselves a little bit of feedback to where our breath is in our body. Okay, stay for one more inhale. And exhale. Good, release both hands and just kind of roll your shoulders up, down, and back. All right, inhale, reach both arms back overhead. And as you exhale, lower your right hand down and bend over to the right side. Again, maybe you just stay still like this, or maybe you step your left foot behind you. If you would like more support to help you balance, you can always put your right hand on a chair or table or whatever you have nearby. Good. On your next breath in, come back upright and take your left arm all the way around your back, spinning it around so that your palm faces the wall behind you and you can rest the back of your left hand on your back. Right hand will come to the front of your body, sort of matching the location of your back hand. And then see if you're able to just slide your back hand up a little bit more so that you can feel your breath in the back of your ribs. And stay here for two or three slow rounds of breath. Seeing if we can root and establish ourselves in love. If with our breath we can grasp how wide, long, high, and deep is the love of Christ. All right, relax both arms. Again, maybe you shake them out or you roll your shoulders. Good. And then reach both hands behind you. See if you can interlace your fingers. Again, if this doesn't feel good or accessible, you can um, grab your wrists or forearms. But see if you can roll your shoulders up, down, and back and find this little softening across the front of your chest. But instead of sticking your ribs way far forward, can you knit them in a little bit, lengthen through your low back, and then follow your exhale down into a forward fold. Relax your arms now down towards the floor. And the goal here is not to touch the floor or our toes. Our hope here is to get a really nice opening through the back of our body. So bring a bit of softness to your knees rather than locking them straight. And see if you can think about lifting up through the back of your pelvis, what's called your sit bones, those bony bones at the base of your pelvis. Reach up through there and see if by bending your knees, maybe you can bring your belly a little bit closer to your thighs and you don't feel so much a stretch through the rounding of your low back, but you feel a stretch through the back of your legs. Good. I know this can be a lot to hang here. See if you can stay for one more breath in. And then as you exhale, plant your hands onto the floor. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Step your feet back into a plank. And then lift your hips up and back for downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, roll back out to plank. Just make sure your shoulders are over your wrists and then lower your knees down to the mat and sit back into child's pose, just like we did yesterday. Widen your knees, stack your fists or slide a block under your forehead if you need to. Now imagine that you were able to bring a hand to your back again. See if you can send your breath into the back of your body as if it was 
lifting up into your hands. Perhaps instead you imagine being held or enveloped by this love of God. How are you arriving today? Does the love of God feel wide, long, high, and deep? Does it feel tangible? Does it feel like it can trickle all the way down into the marrow of your bones? Or does it feel cold and distant, unfamiliar, forgotten? Without any kind of judgment, can you notice? Just allow that awareness to kind of bubble up to the surface. Can you know beyond knowing that God is here with us now, that we don't have to perform or fix. You don't have to have the right words or say the right prayer, but can you just offer the fullness of who you are and how you're arriving today to the fullness of the presence of God? We're going to do a little bit more movement before we settle here. So come back up to your hands and your knees. Take a breath in and stretch your right arm up as much as you're able. And then as you exhale, slide your right arm under your chest so that you're kind of lying on your upper right arm or shoulder. Your head's going to rest on the floor or a block. And your left arm will just stretch straight out in front of you. It's kind of a twist. It's kind of this upper back stretch. I really like to send my breath into the space between my shoulder blades and I get kind of the most stretch and yumminess there. Good, and then slide your left hand back under your shoulder, press yourself back up, and just put your right hand on the floor. Other side now, reach your left arm up towards the ceiling or however high you can, and then just thread it underneath your chest, coming to lie down or just lean your weight into the top of your left arm. Right arm will stretch out in front of you. And see if you can concentrate your breath into your upper back. Now, some people love this shape. Some people really hate it. And the invitation of yoga is just to notice that. And especially in the shapes that you really want to get out of and leave and skip, that's where the real treasure is. So can you stay and breathe? Can you practice um, staying longer than you want to here on the mat and notice how that gives you a sense of presence and compassion and perseverance off the mat? Okay, slide your right arm back under your shoulder. Come back up onto your hands and your knees. And then again, make your way back up to downward facing dog. We're going to work more with downward dog tomorrow and throughout this practice, but we just want to introduce it now. So take a breath and roll back into plank. And then come back to downward facing dog with soft knees. Your hips are going to lead the way. And that's our measurement for downward dog. Plank to downward dog is will tell you where your hands and your feet want to be so that you are well aligned and well set up. One more breath in here. And then as you exhale, knees down, child's pose. And we'll close today's practice in child's pose just like we did yesterday. Taking a nice big breath in. And a long breath out. God, we say thank you again for this gift of knowing you in our bodies and in our breath. May we have the courage to welcome in the fullness of who we are. To be honest with ourselves and with you. And in so doing, know you more. We thank you for this, Jesus. Amen. What an honor it is to hold this sacred space with you and to draw near to the Lord alongside you. Thank you for meeting with me and the Lord on your mat today, friend. I hope it has blessed you immensely. If you enjoyed this practice and you're hungry for more of it, come and find me in the Yoga Abbey, our online yoga sanctuary for lovers of Jesus, where we practice yoga and meditation and lean into some deep contemplative prayer practices as a global community. It's where I spend most of my time these days and we would love to have you. Just follow this link here for more information. And until then, I'll see you back here on your mat again soon.